I hope you guys are having an awesome day. Besides load shedding, as you guys know it, it basically starts again. So this is just an ordinary UPS. Most people throw these UPSs away if they're broken or they just store it once the battery goes flat or is it not working like it should. So basically, if you guys don't know what a UPS is, it's basically if the power trips, it keeps your computer alive for about two to three minutes, just for enough time for you to switch off and so that you can save your work. Now, this was an old UPS I got from a friend that wanted to toss it because it's not working anymore, There's not, it's not going on, nothing. So what I did is, I took the positive and the ground, I took it from the battery inside and I brought it outside and connected core battery clamps onto it. So what this does is you connect it on the positive of a 12 volt battery and on the negative of a 12 volt battery and then you can basically run a computer and a light and maybe a LED TV depending on how big it is. So I'm going to show you guys what's happening in the inside. So the screws have already been loosened, so this cover just clips off. And as you can see, this is the insides of the UPS. So normally the small 12 volt battery will sit there and these cables will run inside here connecting to the positive and the negative. So this is the two cables, like as you guys can see, I just took them out, took this back cover, these two ports, I took them off, and then it just connects like so, and you put this cover back, and tighten it. So that's the first step, and like I said, positive, negative. These clamps, these clamps you can get at any auto store or car parts store. So once this is done, then this cable here, this connects basically must now goes from here to your computer. So what you do then is you cut, you cut the wire. You cut the wire and you put a double adapter onto it. Very simple cables is the wiring is the same, the colors is the same and everything. So you can now either take your car's battery out and connect it to this or you can get a set second alternative battery. And as you guys know, as soon as the power comes on then the UPS charge the battery of the car again so full. So I did yet last night I used this plug so I cut it because I couldn't find any other cables. So this is your normal plug like that. We'll plug in what's now there and this cable will run to your power outlet. The power will charge your car battery again. And like I say, you can run uh, quite a few small appliances on it. Um, but what does a person actually need? You want your cell phone charged, you want a light, and maybe to charge your laptop. So this is the best and most cost-effective way to combat load shedding.